not a bad day out to enjoy some ice cream, but this morning was a different story. It was quite chilly this morning. Temperatures, for the most part, were in the 40s right around sunrise. And here are the observed lows from earlier on today. You see some spots were in the low 40s, like around Lewistown. I picked up a number of 42 degrees there. And it's only going to get colder as we go into tonight and tomorrow morning. In fact, we could be talking about some 30s in a few spots. But since uh, the chilly morning temperatures, we have warmed up. Now we're sitting in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Although our typical cooler spots, some high terrain off to the northwest in Lewistown, you are sitting in the low 60s right now. And radar was not picking up too much, but on satellite, we do have a fair amount of clouds that are being picked up here in the central part of the state from about Lewistown to State College. And that's where we do see a couple of sprinkles on our live radar network. This is a cold front that's coming through, and it's pushing in from the northwest down to the southeast. And as it does so, uh, we'll watch for some more clouds to move back in and also the chance of a couple of stray showers. And back behind that front, some really cold air. Frost advisories in effect and, uh, from midnight tonight until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning for Snyder and Northumberland counties. And there's actually freeze warnings here in the northern part of the state into upstate New York. So unseasonably chilly air mass in place as we head into tonight. But in the meantime, we will see highs climbing to the low 70s here in the News 8 Storm Team forecast. We have Hanover here in the background. Partly sunny skies and a couple of those stray showers moving through. And once that cold front moves through, it will also get quite breezy. Those winds coming out of the northwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour. That uh, breeze will bring in some colder air. Also see the winds diminishing quickly tonight as high pressure builds in. Clear skies, lows down near 40 degrees, a clear and chilly night ahead. In fact, we'll be starting off tomorrow morning quite chilly, but we will recover quickly into the mid to upper 60s. Our typical cooler spots may actually top out in the mid 60s. So overall, kind of a cool start to the Memorial Day weekend, but overall, not too bad. We will see full sunshine as we head through the day. Now looking live from our York Sky Cam right now, just a few clouds moving through the region. 68 degrees in the White Rose City. Dew points down into the low 40s, so it is quite dry. Northwesterly wind around 13 miles per hour, keeping that dry air in place. And looking across the nation, really not a whole lot to talk about in the eastern half, but in the western half, the active weather continues. In fact, the deep south, the central plains, Oklahoma and parts of Texas, they will be under the gun for several days for severe weather and also some flooding rains. There have been a lot of flooding ongoing, and they will continue to see the downpours over and over again as we go through the Memorial Day weekend. But for us, we are going to be rather quiet here as we go through the next few days. High pressure will be building in, but until then, that high uh, cold front, excuse me, uh, pushes through a couple of stray showers along that cold front as it begins to push to our south. And then the high pressure builds in. That ushers in the cooler air for tomorrow morning. We quickly recover as that high slides off to the east tomorrow afternoon. So we stay in sunshine all day long thanks to this high pressure. And then finally, once we go into Sunday, this high slides off to our east. So we get back into more of a southerly wind. That will boost the temperatures up into Sunday by about 10 degrees for those highs from Saturday into Sunday. And then we'll actually see a warm front starting to approach later on Sunday. And as we go into Memorial Day itself, that warm front will bring even warmer air and also some higher humidity. So uh, for those heading down to the Chesapeake Bay, shouldn't be a bad one for us tomorrow. 75 degrees, full sunshine and light winds, although it will be a little bit breezy early on. And for those heading down to the beach for this Memorial Day weekend, uh, looking pretty good here. You got to like that. 66 for the high on uh, tomorrow, but then we get back into the 70s as we head into Memorial Day. I don't know about that water temperature, a little on the cool side, about 60 degrees. And looking at the next couple of days here in the Susquehanna Valley, we stay dry all the way through the uh, Memorial Day weekend, but then Memorial Day itself, there could be an isolated shower or thunderstorm. And then we really warm up. Look at that high on Tuesday. Near 90. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see some places near 90 here as we go into the middle to late part hmm. of next week. So, overall, a very summer like pattern coming in, but the next couple of days feeling pretty good, nice. Yeah, I was going to say tonight, though, the Memorial Day weekend, unofficial start of summer, not feeling like summer. Yeah, it's and that's right. In those sure. northern counties, I'd bring in some of those sensitive plants yeah, if you can. It could be a cold one. All right, Matt, thank you. Well, Group 11.